Okay, this is how to extract the face off the RD unit. There's four screws, two located at this end, two at the other. Just for the recording, I've already taken them out. So once you've removed them, hold the face, roll it towards you with the curb at the base, and pull it away gently. On the inside, you'll have several belts. It doesn't matter if you can fuse these, because as you can see, they're all different sizes. So they only fit onto different board points, as you can see here. The screen's held in by four screws. One, two, three, four. These are all black, not the silver ones. I've already taken three out just to make it a bit quicker. So this is the final one. I'll take this out and this will release the screen completely in one piece. Before you take the screen out and you've undone all the belts, follow this, uh, this cable onto the inside. It's on a small black, uh, white plastic block. It just pulls out. It only goes in one way. If you look closely, you can see the four pins there and on the other side you can't. So when it goes in, it goes with the white face in the back in that direction. Lift the screen up, make sure there's nothing underneath it to touch you and just push it gently. That will release the screen from the fascia. Just rest it back and leave it there. These panels here are your control panels. All the screws I've taken out here already, I've left on the left hand side so I know that they're for there. On the ones for the right, I've left on the right hand side so I know they're for there. Hold the fascia up, squeeze the button and pull it gently and it will come off. Same again, left on left, right on right. Put your finger on the silver knob and just push it gently and hold the back of the SD card reader and that releases it from the system. Over the back of the SD card reader, these two small bits of black tape will be located like this. Now they need to stay on there to stop any circuitry problems with the frame. So just pop them off stick them on the top of the unit and again put an everton from the left on the left everything from the right on the right and there you have it the buttons they're held in with tiny click locks so what you do is you just push it with a flathead screwdriver and individually they'll pop out one at a time for the original fascia that you need these buttons are a direct replacement, so again, they'll go in in the same manner, but you'll be able to see once you get them. Follow the same steps with the rest of the buttons. These pull out in one complete piece, and again, fit in exactly the same manner. Oh, that one's that side. Just turn the face around, and then they drop in. Follow the same steps for this side, keeping everything on the right hand side and everything on the left. The only problem you may have is with this small block here, that's your sensor point, that reads your sensor. As you can see on this fascia, there's one located there. When you press the fascia back together, you have to ensure that everything meets it correctly. Be extra careful with this as that's the microphone and it has to fit inside the slot, so don't force it, just push it in gently and it will drop right in place. As this is from this fascia, you'll see on this one that it also fits straight in. And there we have it. It's exactly the same amount of screws in the same location. When putting the screen back in, make sure it's, a, it's in. It goes in last. These two wings have to go in first, place it in and then put all your belts back together. As I said at the start, they'll only fit in one place. Each belt is the exact size for the board port. You put them in simply by pressing lightly, holding it with your finger or your thumb and gently pushing it in. and then to lock the belt in place, draw it back with your thumbnail. Follow the same step with the rest of the belts. For here and here. Place them back in. Don't forget to put the tape over the top on both sides. And the final belt is this big belt. Same process. Flick it forward, bring the face to it, click it in place and draw it back with your finger. 
then the final piece will be this. Again, the white goes to the back and the four pins show to you. And just lightly press with your finger and that's locked in place. Once you've completed all this and everything's connected together, put the face back up, which I'll demonstrate by undoing this. And then remember that the four screws, one, two, three and four, tighten up and then that's it finished. If you turn it on and the screen's blank, you need to recheck the belts, especially this because this is the board belt. If the SD cards aren't reading properly, it will be these two belts. And if there's any problem with the functions on the buttons, it will be these two. So simply remove. You can see tiny thin layers, double check, just wipe them and then place them back in.